Hello friends, hope everyone is fine and doing great. Today in this video, we will solve one of the numerical which was asked in February 2011, paper number 4, question number 4b from in a steel industries. The solutions given in the solutions along with the paper for this numerical is little bit complex and that's the reason I am trying to solve in a simplest way. The numerical is a furnace is fired with blast furnace gas having an analysis by volume is as follows CO2 per CO2 13 percentage CO 25 percent H2 hydrogen 3.5 percent N2 nitrogen 58.5 percent calculate the percentage of excess air when the dry products of combustion contains 3.5 percent oxygen now first of all please understand whenever the fuel is gas even though if it is not given that the composition by volume it is understood that whenever the fuel is gas whatever the composition is given it is by volume only here it is clearly given by volume but if it is not even given remember whenever the fuel is gas obviously ultimate analysis will give you the percentage in volumetric basis if the fuel is solid and liquid it will be on mass basis correct so let's solve this see here what we have to find out calculate the percentage of excess air now excess air percentage is nothing but quantity of the excess air divided by theoretical air that's what we have to find out now in order to find out the quantity of excess air it is nothing but actual air minus theoretical air so first and foremost thing is to find out the stoichiometric air or you can say theoretical air so let's solve let's do add up 50 add up the percentage of the compositions 58.5 plus 3.5 so that is 59 plus 3 that is 62 62 plus 13 65 and 75 plus 25 so it is 100 percent correct now in order to find out the theoretical air we have to find out theoretical oxygen now who requires oxygen co2 does not require any oxygen co requires hydrogen requires n2 does not require so co when oxidized it will produce co2 let's balance the equations carbon 1 1 then go for next oxygen oxygen right hand side it is 2 here it is 1 plus 2 3 so that's why half now equation is balance half 2 that is 1 plus 1 2 correct so first we have to balance the equations now when I am writing this equation it means 1 nm cube CO requires half nm cube oxygen and it will produce 1 nm cube CO2 while in the fuel this CO is 25 percent 25 percent means 0.25 nm cube per nm cube of fuel that is the quantity of CO in nm cube of fuel 25 percent that is 0 0.25 0 0.25 nm cube CO requires half into 0.25 that means it is 0.125 nm cube of oxygen and it will produce 0.25 nm cube CO2 
same way who, another guy who requires oxygen is hydrogen so h2 plus o2 produce h2 o two hydrogen two hydrogen one oxygen so it is half i will write this i will speak this equation as one nm cube hydrogen requires half nm cube oxygen to produce one nm cube h2o while per nm cube of fuel hydrogen is 3.5% therefore 0 0.035 nm cube hydrogen requires half into 0 0.035 that is 0 0.0175 nm cube oxygen to produce 0 0.035 nm cube H2O. Therefore, total oxygen, total oxygen required is how much? This is the first and this is the second. So, it is 0 0.125 plus 0 0.0175. If we add up, it is 0.1425 nm cube of oxygen per nm cube of fuel correct therefore theoretical air or stoichiometric air is nothing but 0.1425 oxygen divided by 21 percent so that is equals to 0 0.6785.71 nm cube of air per nm cube of fuel blast furnace gas correct so this is the first answer theoretical air per nm cube of fuel now let's find out the second one second one we have to find out the actual air then we will take the difference actual air minus theoretical or that will give you the excess air correct let's find out second one so here we have find out this oxygen required 0.1425 nm cube per nm cube of fuel and the air requirement is 0 0.6785 nm cube of air per nm cube of fuel now let's first find out the requirement of actual air for that some data is given the dry product of combustion contains 3.5 percent oxygen now dry product it means forget about h2o which is being generated from h2 we should not consider so we have to consider others component other than h2o so let's say, let's assume Y nm cube of air, actual air is supplied for 1 nm cube of fuel. Therefore, Let's find out the dry flue gas components. So in a dry flue gas components per nm cube of fuel, first is nitrogen. Nitrogen will came along with the actual air plus from fuel itself. So, nitrogen with actual air is 79% of Y because Y is the amount of actual air which we are supplying plus already 58.5% is there so 0.585 so this is the nm cube of nitrogen per nm cube of fuel. This I will write as a 0.79y plus 0.585. Second drive flue gas component is after nitrogen, it is CO2. 
CO2 will be from CO and already CO2 is there in the fuel. So from fuel. So from CO how much? We have calculated it is 0.25 per Nm cube of fuel. Plus from fuel. So CO2 is 13 percent. So it is 0 0.13. Correct. Then third is a oxygen because we are supplying little bit excess air. So oxygen will be from excess air. So it is 21 percent of Y that is the actual oxygen supplied minus this much oxygen is required for stoichiometric so minus 0.1425 so this is the nm cube of oxygen per nm cube of fuel correct now just total it so total dry flue gas equals to 0.79y plus 0.585 plus 0.25 plus 0.13 plus 0.21y minus 0.1425. This is the Nm cube of dry flue gas per Nm cube of fuel. If we simplify 0.79y plus 0.21y, that's why it is y plus this at addition and then if you subtract it will be y plus 0.8225 nm cube of dry flue gas per nm cube of fuel correct so this is the total dry flue gas now some data is given 3.5 percent oxygen we have to use this so oxygen percentage is dry flue gas is oxygen in the flue gas correct by total so let's calculate that this excess is given so oxygen percentage in dry flue gas equals to quantity of oxygen in dry flue gas divided by total dry flue gas per nm cube of fuel multiplied by 100. So this is given 3.5 equals to oxygen in dry flue gas. So that is 0.21y minus 0.1425. That is the excess oxygen. 0.21 y is the actual supplied and 0.1425 is the required for combustion. Divided by total. Total dry flue gas is this. So y plus 0.8225 into 100. Now just simplify. So it is 3.5 y plus 0.8225 equals to 21 y minus 14.25 this is 3.5 y plus 3.5 into 0.8225 that is 2.87875 therefore 21 y minus 3.5 y equals to 17.5 y equals to I will take this side so 14.25 plus 2.87875 therefore y equals to this divided by 17.5 so it is 0 0.9788 this is nm cube of air per nm cube of fuel so this much is the actual air supplied while the theoretical air is 0 0.1425 divided by 21 percent so difference between that two is the excess air and excess air divided by 
theoretical error that will give you the percentage. Let's calculate. So excess error percentage E is nothing but your excess error by theoretical error into 100. So excess error is how much? Actual error minus theoretical error divided by theoretical error into 100. Actual error we've calculated 0.9788. So that is 0.9788 minus theoretical error 0.678571 divided by 0 0.6785 71 into 100 if you simplify the answer will be 44.24 percentage so that's the answer if you see the solutions given in the answer of the this february 2 2011 it is little bit complex this is the simplest way you can solve the numerical so thank you and all the best